Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Against the Hive campaign. We are on the last kind of uh, laps uh, of a very long marathon. Soon, very soon, we're going to uh, go into the network tower and with that we're also going to go and do Waterworld. That is a promise. Both of that is available. Now, what I don't know whether or not it's going to happen is whether we are going to win that campaign. And one of the reasons is we're continuing to lose more and more missions. Operation Pungent Chal uh, Chalice might not be any different in this regard. We are bringing the B team, or at least parts thereof, Hayward, Noxus, Sane and Sonar. We bring Edgar Alien Poe for that extra grenade. There we go, second ghost grenade. Uh, and we're bringing Haunt uh, with us. So, a um, bit of a variety team here. I like what I'm seeing. However, we definitely know that the Advent Retaliation will be hard and fast. So, I'm not sure if this is going to be successful. There is a good chance that we're actually going to land and maybe uh, save six civilians and then boogie out. That might be it. Let's see. Good, we're heading in. Let's see if this was a good idea or not. Venice one five. Hostile forces are attacking the outpost. Eliminate all enemy units and protect those civilians. Advent came in hot, and so did we. You won't have a concealed position for deployment on this one. Oh, okay, well we're seeing Advent right over there. Interesting. I go where you tell me. The patrol is upwind. Okay, there would be a great remote start. Unfortunately, that's not going to happen. And whether or not these guys can be saved is anyone's guess. <laughs> Can't even step out without triggering. But if we don't trigger, people will die. So let's just trigger the pack, or the packs, rather. Sona moves in. Surprise! Complete and utter surprise, but at least we get technical analysis. Yeah, two packs, as per the usual. Putting a nice defensive mine up for those chrysalids that survive. And then it's a matter of just getting as many of them as possible, I suppose. Sonar. Lops a grenade. Opens up the map. Failsafe into Haywire Protocol. We want the Mac and we want it now. No more excuses. Give it to us. No. Okay. Well, it's the, at least no negative has happened. Good, we're going to do a double whammy play here. For those of you unfamiliar with that term, which I created myself. Um, it's essentially 
two explosions in one. There we go, second mine. And this potentially could be even two kills. Yep, worked like a charm. Getting rid of the Lancer. I'm sort of contemplating. Um, sort of contemplating whether or not we should just mimic beak in this so one of the things i definitely would want to do is just get rid of all of the armor here double explosion wouldn't kill the priest but it would Injure both of them very heavily. Good one down. Thousands to go. We're doing the Mimic Beacon play. Simply because I don't want too much damage to happen. As you can see, I'm very liberally using our cooldowns. We need to kill these guys from the get-go. Can't let them <coughs> survive. We need to push in, get as many of the civilians as possible, and just let the chrysalids not multiply, I suppose. All right, come on, any, t any time now. Good, there is the second attack. More enemies are being drawn to us. Just ignore that pack for now. All right, micro missiles. Yeah, don't need to be an expert in order to know that.
Okay, well that's not bad. Shredding the hunter killer. Okay. Then free reload into suppression. More damage and more shredding. Yep. Same over there. Galenpo moves up and takes a two for one over here. Sustenance, yeah. Good, next turn, I hope uh, that we can claim more of these guys. Fortunately, that was not possible this turn. There can be no mercy. Hunter Killer is by far one of the most dangerous uh, foes out here. Like I said, liberal use of grenades. Moving back into full cover. Same moves over here, I like the high ground. Let's stun the chameleon. Biggest threat on the battlefield at the moment. Okay, no one currently is at our position so might as well hunker down and so far we're actually doing relatively well but what is keeping us um, in the game is our heavy usage of consumables Control. Oh, stasis. Interesting. Good. This activates them, but at the same time it's too much damage to not do it. Oh, 
Oh wow, okay. Okay, well... Starting to get him down. Emergency 8 is a free action, might as well take it. Okay, well... Hmm. hmm, let me think. Okay, that purifier could be a great kill. Okay, that would be a hundred percent kill if we're hitting him. Ninety percent shot and we missed. That is disheartening. Teamwork from sonar into Hitting that thing or not. Good, Chrysalid needs to go. Just getting that trooper down. Now we do have a better position here, might as well uh, take full cover. These guys have tactical analysis. Mind control, right? Yeah. It's okay. Can kill the priest. Are you actually berserking on your own teammate, Zane? That was such a typical XCOM moment. <laughs> okay. 
he's upset about his teammate being mind controlled and then because he's upset he goes berserk and then effectively tries to kill his just recently mind controlled teammate that's a logic that only XCOM can uh, come up with That will trigger Overwatch. <sighs> so much for plan A. It's not looking great. We could do a bit of a ghost grenade play here. Yeah, something along these lines. Okay. Edgar, anyways, needs to move to, to the healing. Shreds the uh, Shoggoth, hopefully kills that other guy. Oh, there we go. Good. Securing both of their lives. Lancer's a problem, officer's a problem, but so are the Shoggoth. Purifier is a bit of a problem. No, 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 we don't want that. Unfortunately, minimum damage. Just taking this guy out. Nah, don't throw a grenade, please. They are not. Still losing a couple of civilians, but it's not as bad as it could be. It actually is not. Hey, 
to stand fully in the open, exposed like an idiot. can manage it. So that guy is down. Checking something here. We still have the chameleon somewhere, which is a big problem. Could go blinding protocol on that Lancer. Suppression. Like I said, I don't like being in the open, but he's now suppressed, which is good. <coughs> Want to go out of the explosion range here. Come on, please. Sonar moves up. Hitting that Shogoth. We're just blinding him that way, he can't throw a grenade. That's a good one. We can uh, get to to our target destination next turn, and we're still concealed, so AI doesn't know that we're here. Miss, miss, miss. Yep. Very nice. Noxa still keeps it rolling. Come on, miss. They're very good. Okay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. guy needs to die like really really bad all right see you later buddy Getting that chameleon would be nice. Alright, one saved.
Chogos, I think we can completely eliminate uh, it. Which means stunning the chameleon would be beneficial. Nice. No getting away now. Repositioning into full cover. That could even be a kill. Good. Show us down. Which brings us to you. Nice. I will go. Haunt moves up. Ooh. Okay. Are we actually pulling this off? No. But our very liberal use of consumables at the beginning started to at least allow us to push uh, deep into the enemy territory. Optimizing our movement, we want to go as close as possible to the enemy. up gets another love tap here and we'll soon be back in battle and we even get some extra loot wow is it Christmas already No, 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 no. Um, I do not want to see them because if we see them, that also means they all uh, can go for the civilians. And it is not uh, early Christmas. We actually just noticed more bugs. Way more bugs than anticipated. here with Noxus. Can't really get in there. Twelve hit points is not full. So Sonar will stay over here. And would be ready for some healing. Might want to just save the civilians for now. Currently the hive is not acting, which is okay. But if we do have six civilians saved, then things are going to look much better for us. switching out 
who is at the front. Edgar is helping Noxus. And we're getting ready to be healed. Cooldowns of our protocols are recharging. I said we don't want to trigger any one with our view. Let alone starting a fight that we can't win. Name of the game here is Heal Up. Get the few civilians. I will reposition. You can't fight, then run. Okay, are there more civilians? Yes, there are, but fortunately, all of them are super far away. idea is to actually get six civilians and then we can slow down doing much here I go where you tell me clear this area nope Sending back here. Could move to here, but this is risky. One, two, three. We do have four more civilians. Where are the last civilians? It actually matters this time quite a bit. One, two, three. I won't take any chances. Get out of line of sight.
there are the last civilians. Okay. I am at your service. Okay. Game knows farewell, but we are on uh, on to it. That we could finish. I am on the move. Status confirmed. We've secured a Wonderful. civilian contact. Good. Let's fight. Let both of them fight each other. What's over there? We're moving back and are hunkering down. Chrysalid Hive Queen once again added. Oh, what? Chrysalis Hive Guard. Mm. 35 hit points and looks like a very defensive enemy. So I don't know if we're go still going to lose this. Maybe it's going to be a Ferric um, victory. It's unfortunate uh, that the Hive Queen is in here. Because, yep, that's exactly what's always going to happen. Multiple, multiple, multiple spawns and We can't do much about it. Cool, Hive Guards. Haven't seen them yet. The reinforcements alone are already kicking our asses. Okay. Sure. I don't know. We do have another ghost grenade, don't we? Yeah, we do. I'm on it. Which means everybody is going to go upstairs. So ghost grenade. Yeah, I could hit all of that here. Heading to that location. 
Wow. Lots and lots and lots of reinforcements. Good, we're getting the small ones down. You want some more? Okay, well that even works. Fabulous. We're just going to stall up here. And that's what I mean with the spawn, right? So. We did nothing wrong. We even were in full overwatch, mind you, with all of our um, operators. So it can hardly get any better than that. And as part of uh, as part of our uh, overwatch. We managed to barely kill like one pack, give and take. Barely managed to kill one pack, give and take. And yeah. We're now seeing the consequences of uh, not being able to kill as many. Because the second pack spawned and then even a third pack spawned. timed mission so technically when all of this is said and done if we could stay out of trouble we could just let them uh, battle it out but I somewhat believe we will not stay in cover for long concealment for long they will continue to search us out and at some point we'll just not going to uh, survive. Okay, well, there we go. I think the only rational uh, solution for this is to get out of here. Got a couple more explosions, remote starts, we could deal damage, but to which point I, I can't win this. Oh wow, they can lob acid balls, wow. Looks like they called in some friends. See that's what I mean, I mean if you do have two sides that are continuously uh, going to summon more enemies. And we're not talking about kind of small packs that we can realistically uh, defeat. We're talking about massive amounts of enemies. The station pits continue to spawn. Not even sure who's spawning these guys now. Yeah, the spawn mechanic plus uh, the dual uh, squad size. Yeah, just uh, made it a little bit too much. Lesson learned for the next campaign. This indeed is Starship Troopers.
But Rico's Roughnecks didn't give up in Sasha Troopers either. So no point in lamenting. It's another day in the office. Sometimes you gotta retreat. Humanity has yet again taken severe losses. And it is time to say goodbye. One, two, three, four, and five. Good job, guys. I mean, overall, could have been worse. We got six out. I would say the normal part of the mission we defeated. But then the enemy activated Freddy Krueger mode and the normal mission turned into an absolute nightmare. So what are we going to do about it? Nothing really. It worked exactly as I thought it would work. Minus, uh, I thought the chrysalids would take over more civilians. So I think the beginning was quite uh, was quite promising, but even with, let's say theoretically, even if I had all of uh, the items, like every single one, at the end. It still wouldn't have been enough. The fact that they are double summoning Hello, Commander. The fact that they are double summoning for like what? 50 hit points makes it unbearable. Getting our tactical analysis back. Avenger plotting new course. Yeah. Life in this campaign is not easy. Three missions in a row and all three times we just got shafted. So we could get just a tiny bit of um, a tiny bit more AP and more movement. Now that's actually six days, eight days here, but we get dodge. From soldier bond irrelevant but it's a five days mission how how are we uh, looking it's one more day okay well maybe we're just not going to do any other mission now nah, i think that's uh, this is it we're we're as strong as we will get no more delays which also means the improvement in the bond center here 12 days mm -mm. not happening I'm not going to sit through more missions where we're just getting befuddled. It won't be easy. All right, cool. Being is something else. Something. New objective added. It looks like we've got our work cut out for us, Commander. We have the nice extra soldier. Very good. That is also good. Extra soldier and squad reflexes. Okay. Very well, guys. Uh, this is pretty much it. Uh, Gatekeeper autopsy we do not necessarily need for anything. Um, we've reached the pinnacle of our strength. Uh, we will use the remaining intel to... Uh, 
to help us with uh, the network uh, mission. And to be fair, it looks like we finally got a shot at breaking Advent's propaganda machine once and for all. To be fair, I think we'll go in with field medic, marine, and reaper. The reaper might be able to do the mission him, uh, him or herself. Um, but yeah, we're still trying to do it without. Although, am I risking it? Nah, I've come so far. We're just going to, I'm, I'm just going to do potentially the cheeky version of the network tower. Which we might as well do now. Um, and then it's water world. So bear with me for a second. Hello, this is an aftermath video. So, without spoiling anything, the mission of the network tower actually did not go according to plan. So, instead of just uh, rushing through it, it w uh, went very different. So, I decided uh, against what I originally said to make it a separate video, um, which means there's another cliffhanger for the next two days. Thanks for watching, guys, and enjoy. Take care. Bye bye.